So let's find the other side of that. Let's find the softer side of determination. Rather than saying, I'm determined to get there, since you're not there, and we don't want you to be determined to get there because there's too much effort in being determined to get from where you are to someplace else. We're out here on the leading edge. So what's a softer way? What's on the other end of that stick of determination? Rather than I'm determined to get someplace else, what's on the other side of that? Relaxation. It has to be okay where I am. That really is your only option. Can you hear it? It really is your only option. We've taken all of your other options away. One by one by one by one by one. I'm determined. I'm going to make it happen. No, 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 no. You're not determined. You're not going to make it happen. You can't get there from there. So what are you going to do? If you are where you don't want to be, hear this. If you are where you don't want to be and you're determined that you're going to be somewhere else. And now we've taken that away. You can't get there from there. So you want to be someplace other than you are. What is your only option? What's your only option? Where you are has got to be okay. You got to make peace with where you are before you can get anywhere else. And that's not the habit you've been practicing because you've been listening to others who are saying, why are you there? What do you think you're doing? Why did you do that? Why didn't you do that better? Why aren't you doing that better? It feels to you like there's a lot of emphasis upon you not being in the right place, but you got to make where you are the right place before you can get anywhere that you prefer more. This was so big. This was so big. So how can you make where you are the right place for you? How can you perceive it as the right place? Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. They don't know. They don't even really care that much. <laughs> they really don't. They don't even really care that much. So how can you make where you are the right place for you? Give us some words. Right now it feels as if I have to get on a ship like this and be in a really nice cabin on my own <laughs> for some time until I can really feel helping. it. <laughs> You're not helping at all. <laughs> that wasn't very good at all. You can do better than that. How can you make where you are all right? Isn't there a certain relief in just accepting where you are? This conversation feels slow to you, but it's the biggest conversation that we've ever had with any of you because if law of attraction is, and it is, and if law of attraction is about momentum, and it is. And law of attraction says that which is likened to itself is drawn. Then where you are is what is becoming more. So isn't it important to be in a place where what is becoming more is what you want to become? You see what we're getting at? So if you want to be in a place that feels better than where you are, and if where you are doesn't feel good, can you get there from there? You can't, can you? So what's the only thing that you can do? Well, you can go to sleep. That helps. That distracts you from it. And when you wake up, you're going to kind of feel pretty much like you felt before. But if every morning when you wake up, if every time you come back into consciousness, if every time that you think about it, your dominant intent is to find some vibrational state of being that you want to be perpetuated by law of attraction, which will perpetuate it then isn't 100% of your attention or effort, if you want to call it that, wouldn't it be prudent for you to let 100% of your attention be in making where you are all right? So isn't that the dialogue that you want to start presenting to yourself? So if you were to say to yourself something like, I'm doing good, does that contradict your belief system in such a way that you can't even say those words or can you say I'm doing good we're asking all of you if you were to say it's all right can you say it's all right or does that contradict your belief system so strong that you can't say that's all right or this is all right we're really getting to the core of what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis aren't we Sometimes I'm there and I can say it and I can feel it, but normally not first thing in the morning. 
I'm all like, oh my god, I have to get dressed, I have to get a shower, I have to get to work. That's all right. That's all right. You've got stuff to do. Okay. You have things to do. You know how to do that. There's nothing hard about any of that. It's all right. It's all right that morning asks things of you. It's all right that you have a routine that serves you in many ways. That's all right. It's all right that you have things that people are expecting from you. That's all right. It's all right that you're in a physical body, that you're in a physical world, that there are things to do. It's all right. It's all right that you're getting better at it. And it's all right that you're not as good at it as you want to be. That's all right. It's all right. It's all right that your point of attraction fluctuates. And it's really good that your point of attraction is emphasized. It's really a good thing that how you feel is reflected back to you. That's how you define how you want to be. The desires that you hold are evidence of the relationship between where you are and where you want to be. That's all right. You're really good at focusing all of this. It's all right. You're not doing anything wrong. You're getting better at it every day. There are no big, big steps to take. It's just easy as you go. You have all kinds of leeway, all kinds of benefits, all kinds of help, all kinds of inspiration. You're really insightful. Ideas flow to you all the time. As the ideas flow and you acknowledge them, that's a benefit. If an idea isn't flowing, that's all right too. It's all all right. You see what we're getting at? Now, begin as you began earlier. That's all right. <laughs> when earlier? I would like some more clarity on how to go about all this. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right too. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> so it's okay if I just feel that meditating in the evening when I get home from work feels better, That's feels all right. easier. <laughs> And if I don't quite get there in the morning, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. It's inevitable that more clarity will come. But when you're asking for more clarity, your emphasis is upon confusion. So the confusion has to be all right. That's all right. <laughs> Everything's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Now you're getting carried away over there. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Think about what we're saying with those words. It's all right. It's all right. The contrast is right. It's part of the process. Confusion is even right because it's part of the process. Some things you prefer more than others, but it's all all right. None of it deserves your pushing against it because if anything deserves your pushing against it, then it will become more. It will still be all right, but it will become more. You go to the buffet. It's all right. Some of it is preferred, but it's all right. None of it's going to jump onto your plate. It's all right. Nothing that you don't want is going to jump onto your plate. Nothing that you don't want is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger without you having an awareness of it. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So we know getting carried away with this, but it's all right. So if you are making peace with where you are, if you really accept that what is, is all right you feel closer to it than you were before feel closer to it than you were before it's the most boring seminar I've ever been to in my life that's all right that's all right <laughs> if you mean it when you say that's all right that's all right that's all right for something to be all right what does that mean if it's all right what does it mean when you say that's all right, what do you mean? Can't get it wrong. 
What else do you mean right here right now in this moment if you say it's all right what does that mean no action is required of me right now mm. it's all right no action is required of me right now if it's all right and no action is required then what does that mean that means your point of attraction is a good point of attraction that means that it's all right what does it mean what does it mean to you when you really know that it's all right and that there isn't anything that you need to do to justify or to improve or to change if it's really all right then what does that mean about who you are and your point of attraction what does that mean about you I'm in a good place you're in a good place and why are you in a good place because you are good because well-being is yours because you are worthy because the well-being is flowing to you there isn't anything that you need to do to change that or to prove that or to justify that or to defend that there isn't anything that you need to do just be that you feel closer to trusting that your point of attraction now is going to bring to you what you are wanting and as you now watch all of you the results of this sort of shift in your awareness of what's required of you Abraham that doesn't make sense you mean I'm not supposed to do anything I'm not supposed to better myself I'm not supposed to change the world I'm not supposed to fix things I'm not supposed to improve you're not supposed to you just can't help that in other words there's this inevitable natural expansion but what you could do is stop doing that stuff that you do that prevents the natural well-being from flowing to the worthiness that is you don't you feel different now don't you yes. feel different now we want you to feel different now because it's all right it's all right it's all right you are accustomed to justifying your existence through behavior and this conversation that we just had was uncomfortable for you because sometimes you don't feel safe or trusting in just sitting and being a point of attraction of well-being but you got to get there we want you to trust that well-being is yours that's who you are